you know, twinkle in the eye kind of projects to be able to be hosted in sandbox. But due to, but, but uh, yeah, yeah. incubation yeah. is the, the big one. And yes, I believe they have all had it except this one. And, and, and this is another oversight, but I'm not aware of any others. I was wondering if I'm old, the, when CNCF first started, like, what's just like, uh, Okay, and one thing, can we study now? Or sure. do we still need to wait some minute? I think we can start now. Oh, how? Yeah, I think uh, we can. Uh, you, are the, you are hosting today, right? What? What? Oh, sorry, I have mute. Uh, yeah, I think we can start now. Okay. I I think that I'm a moderator and uh, uh, Wen Hao or Wen Ting, do, do, maybe you can share the screen. Or just, I share the screen. Yeah, I think uh, if you have that document opened, you can share the screen. Okay, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. Thank everyone joined the meeting and this is the second one for Thai TV. Uh, this second meeting for the Thai TV. And uh, now today, uh, today I'm the moderator for this meeting and also Wen Ting is the lot of taker. And uh, before the meeting, please be aware, aware that the meeting is recorded, recorded and uh, will be uploaded to the YouTube soon after the meeting. Okay, let's begin. And as you can see, this is the agenda of this meeting. At the first, I will do some introduce, uh, introduction. And I see that now maybe there are, okay, just 10 people uh, participated in the meeting. So we can introduce uh, ourselves. So let's begin. And maybe, oh, Oh, I need to introduce myself at the first. My name is Liu Tang. You can call me Sidon. And, uh, and also the maintainer of Thai TV. And uh, now, the last one, Kevin Wong. Wong Hao. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm from Pinkcap, and uh, I'm the <clears throat> community manager of the Thai TV project. Okay, next. Thank you. Chen Fu. Hello, Chen Fu. Can you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, hello, Chen Fu. Okay, so what a pity. The last one, Lo Di An. Lo Di An, can you introduce yourself? Hello. Hello. Yes, we, we can hear you. Um, I'm not the end. Oh. Yeah. Chat base. Yeah. Um, I'm going to introduce Kiwi Shalaiza uh, in this meeting. <laughs> okay. 
。来，泰林，神。Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Sun Tan Lin. Uh, uh, from Pinkan. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can come in there. And yeah. Uh, that's all. Okay. And Leek. Hi, uh, I'm Nick, uh, also from Pinka. Uh, work on TAKV, and I will be introducing the uh, transaction sig a bit later. Okay. Thank you. Liu Wei. Oh, hello, I'm Liu Wei. Uh, I'm focused on the performance of TAKV. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm the, uh, uh, the lead of Performance as as edge. That's that's all. Okay, Julie. Okay, I'm Sherry from Pinkcap, uh, and uh, uh, I'm interested in um, transaction and uh, code processor, and also um, I work on the, for the developer group. That's all. Ah, uh, Chipong. Uh, hello, I'm Chipong from Pincap. I'm going to introduce the Raft SIG later. Okay. Yan Qin. Yan Qin, can you hear me? And uh, that guy, Wen Ting. Uh, hello, my name is Wen Ting. I'm from Pincap and uh, I'm mainly responsible for assisting Kelvin with Taiki V community operations. It's very nice to have a meeting with all of you. Mm, thank you. Okay. Uh, same, any, any word of uh, what attendant um, introduce themselves and someone are meeting. So maybe we can go on. And uh, the second is you can see a just announcement and you can see that Taiki V webila are in presentation uh, and uh, will be coming soon. And any suggestion are welcome. You can tell, maybe you can ask Kevin or ask Wen Qin uh, for, to give any suggestion. Okay, that's all for the introduction. And now the second part is we will introduce, talk about something about SIG update. And I will give this to the Xuelian. And maybe, uh, Xuelian, can you, maybe can you hold it loud and introduce something about SIG? Okay, uh, can you uh, stop share the screen and uh, let me share the screen? Oh, oh okay. Thank you. And uh, maybe now, you can maybe make oh Shirley, maybe you can uh, share the screen. It's okay. better. Okay, okay. So please. <laughs> Okay, let, let, let me introduce you about uh, the TechV community SIG updates um, this month. Um, and does anyone know about uh, the meaning of SIG? Okay, SIG means special interest group, which means if you have any interest in any part of TechV, uh, you can join the related SIG and uh, work Discuss with the engineers. Uh, work for the uh, work for the this model. And now we have already one, two, three, four. We have already six SIGs in TechKV, and the first two core process SIG and engine SIG is very popular now. And uh, the other, the left of these SIGs are still uh, working hard to make themselves popular. So if you have any interest about any part of this, welcome to join, well, welcome to join them. And now uh, we have uh, invited the, the leader of these SIGs here and uh, let them, uh, let them uh, introduce the details to you. Okay, so maybe we can start to introduce, start from the co-processor SIG. So wish, wish, are you there? Oh, seems he is not here. Uh, maybe we can just skip to the next one, and I'd like to ask him come on later. 
So about the engine SIG, is the leader here? Hi. Uh, could you hear me? Um, Jin Peng, oh, Wu Yi, are you here? Oh, Xiao Guang, <laughs> sorry. Oh, seems Xiao Guang, but some of them are not here. So let's skip and continue. About the ecosystem, I think uh, Neil is here. So Neil, yeah. it's your time. Uh, yeah, um, the ecosystem, I uh, think, uh, covers everything about uh, surrounding projects about Tech TV. Uh, for example, client Go, client Java, and client C. Uh, yeah, and of course the client Rust. Also, um, it covers the, the Rust Prometheus, um, the client library for the Prometheus. Yeah, um, yeah. We have a Slack channel called Ecosystem Seek at TechEV, uh, WD, uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to join us. And uh, this has, uh, this SIG is still in early days, so uh, not ongoing works, but we'll, we'll have soon, yeah. Uh, thank you. So let's continue. And about the performance, as I, I think uh, the leader Liu Wei is here, so it's your turn. Liu Wei? Oh, uh, here. Uh, oh, the performance SIG is focused on the improve the performance of Tech EV, um, and uh, 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 these days we are focused on improve the TBCC of TDB. Uh, we will, uh, we we have made a plan with uh, which uh, some features uh, we may uh, try, uh, but we ha have not uh, put put it on the project. Yes, um, I will. I will add it to the project uh, le uh, next day. Yes. Okay, you can see the details about the progress of this SIG in this project. I think, yes. Uh, the, uh, since uh, uh, in the project uh, are almost uh, done. Yeah. Uh, yes, we we will add m s some new, uh, new plan to the project. Okay. So how how can we join your SRG? Uh. Oh, the charge in performance SRG. Yeah. Y yes. Yes. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, the next SIG is the raft SIG, uh, and uh, Jen? Uh, this seems is not here, and uh, I will give the introduction. I'm Chipak. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, raft SIG is, uh, is a, a special integration group for anything related to raft IS and uh, Component raft store in TechEV. Uh, we have a uh, common chart, uh, uh, Slack on in in TechEV work, work group. Uh, and tech, uh, tech leader is uh, Jian Junli and uh, Peng Chu. You can call uh, Jian Jun uh, J. <laughs> and our ongoing works are, uh, uh, we have many three ongoing works. Uh, the first is uh, pick uh, upstream bug fixes from each CD raft, and uh, the second is implement uh, joint consensus to introduce a small uh, available window when doing configuration change, uh, and the last is implement follow replication. Uh, that's all. Thank you. 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 Thank
Okay, thank you. And let's go to the next. And the next is the transaction is IG, and I think Nick can talk about it. Hello, yes, I will talk about the transaction uh, SIG. Um, so it's very early days for us. Uh, we've not really started very much, um, but I'll talk a little bit about what we want to do and what we're, we're doing at the moment. We do have um, a channel in Slack and um, our group on WeChat. So if anyone's interested in transactions, come and, and chat to us there. Uh, my personal um, uh, ideas for what to do with the group, which I haven't yet discussed with the other leaders, so these may well not happen, uh, is to focus on uh, the, um, the, 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 uh, the, the special interest part of the special interest group. And so rather than um, start out trying to get people involved with the transaction code in, in Thai KV, um, start by just having a, a group of people interested in transactions um, and uh, try and build a, a community there. Um, uh, so, so some ideas for that, uh, have a, a reading group where we can like read and discuss uh, academic papers um, do some testing and benchmarking and finding, trying to, to find bugs, experimenting with kind of software models and formal models using uh, TLA plus or stuff like that. Um, and uh, maybe working on the, um, the, the Thai KV clients because it's, uh, because our transaction protocols are um, uh, collaborative protocols. Uh, it means that there's a, there's a lot of work in the client as well as in, in the Tyke AV server. And so having decent clients is um, going to be important for building a, a community around Tyke AV itself. Um, and then other stuff like kind of working on documentation and just general discussion about transactions, really. So that's, um, so if any of that sounds interesting, um, come to uh to slack or wechat and um talk to us thanks yeah thank you nick he gives us a lot of information about uh, the transaction strategy and i think i'd like to introduce one more thing about uh, transaction sig for it um Okay, we can we can see the projects in the Tech TV repo, and uh, for the transaction SIG, there is a lot of information uh, in this in its project. You can see uh, first column that how to join us, um, and the second column is. Uh, the to-do list that need to check. So if you have any interest of these issues, you can pick one and assign to yourself. And uh, the third co column about in progress, uh, these are the things or major project uh, we are doing now. And uh, if you are interested in any project uh, of them, you can um, go, to, go to see the details in this project. And I think uh, this will be helpful. Okay, uh, so let's... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, seems seems you all have questions. May uh, no. Uh, I found that Xiao Guang is here now. Maybe he can <laughs> introduce the ending SIG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, and and uh, let's go back to the ending SIG. Welcome, Xiao Guang. So, um, please help. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, uh, I'm Xiao Guang. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, our uh, engine SIG today. Uh, engine SIG uh, focus on uh, basically anything related to storage engines in uh, uh, Taikei Way. And uh, we do have a, a Slack channel, so uh, people can come to uh, Taikei Way work group Slacks and join us and talk about uh, NGS, uh, engines in Taikei Way. Okay, can you come back to the slides? I'm sorry. Okay. 
And we have a bi-weekly meeting uh, as well, and we have an online meeting, a Zoom link here. So everybody is welcome to join our meeting. Um, we do have the uh, meeting notes for the past meetings. So if you, are, you have missed, you can check out our meeting notes. Right, um, right it's here. We, we just had a meeting yesterday. Uh, that's great. Okay. That's why um, our <laughs> Okay, um, and our tech leaders, we have three tech leaders. Uh, we are Kim Peng Zhang and uh, Yi Wu and, uh, and me, Xiao Guangsun. So, um, um, and we, are, we, we have something uh, going on right now. Uh, there are two major things uh, listed here. One is improve the uh, prioritized block catch for Titan. The other one is uh, a brand new uh, KV interface to TechKV, uh, which introduced uh, uh, multiple versions uh, key value in, in addition to a raw KV. So uh, uh, that's pretty much all we are doing right now. And we are, you know, we are going to work on more stuff later on. Yeah, there's a lot of information. And I think uh, it is the most, uh, um, most, most uh, uh, it is the best SIG, which is uh, very, the most convenient, uh, gives us a most convenient way to enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, um, Xiao Guang, since you join this meeting later, so could you tell something about yourself? Introduce yourself. Um. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, let me think. Uh, where to start? Um. Um. I, I worked for Zhihu, a, a question and answering website, knowledge sharing, basically, uh, website in China. Um. I used to work in uh, a search engine part, uh, last year. And um, um, later on, I I I'm, I'm I switched to a uh, infra team. So now I'm managing uh, um, basically uh, Zhihu's uh, uh, platform and infrastructure. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all about myself. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, uh, I also looked at that. Ken Yi is here. Maybe he can uh, help Wenxuan to introduce the Copacetta SIG. So, Tian Yi, can you, you, you can see, you can talking about uh, Copacetta SIG across this, this page, or you can just uh, tell something about it uh, by yourself. Tian Yi? Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, I'm uh, I'm Tian Yi Zhang and uh, I'm um, Coprocessic. Uh, I'm Thai KV commenter of Coprocessic. Uh, and uh, uh, where is Wen Xue? Uh, I think he's off offline. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can try to introduce uh, the Coprocessic. Uh, um, um, first, uh, that. Uh, uh, the first page is uh, uh, the coprocessor uh, community coprocessor sick uh, community page, and uh, uh, here are uh, three commenters uh, in coprocessor sick. Uh, they are Wen Xuan, um, uh, not they are uh, Ye Dianhui and me, uh, and uh, uh, we use Slack, both Slack and the WeChat to uh, communicate about the uh, Thai KV. Um, coprocessor sick, uh, and uh, now um, we are doing the uh, two active projects. Uh, the first is timeline tra tracing. Uh, uh, it's uh, due by our uh, active contributor uh, Ren Kai, and another is uh, just an RFC. And uh, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, it's about uh, use use the trunk execution uh, in the coprocessor framework and uh, i'm i'm I, I will finish the uh, rfc uh, uh, in one week okay uh, and uh, we will try to move migrate some more mutating functions from type db um, uh, it's it, it's very easy for new contributor uh, to participate in uh, uh, so, uh, this is all. Thank you. Okay, I have seen the most active, most, most topic-specific contact 
with leader to join. Oh, this is amazing, <laughs> I think. So, um, anyone have questions about uh, the, these SIGs since the, all of the leaders are here? No, so if no, I think that's all for the um, Takeaway SIGs. Okay, Xuelian, you can maybe stop the sharing and allow Eva to share, okay? Thank you, Julian. And the next session is community sharing. And Luo Dian will give you a uh, give us uh, maybe demo about key visualizer. Dian, maybe it's now your turn now. It's your turn now, and maybe you can. I will stop the share, and you can do. It. Go on. If it's okay, Dian. All right. You can share your screen and. Uh, uh, show the key visualizer. Can you see my screen now? Yes. All right. Um, wait a second. Um, okay. Um, thanks all for coming. Um, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to tell Tiger communities about something really cool that we've been tinkering for a little while. Uh, hopefully, it will be production ready and coming with Tiger 4.0. So, um, I'm going to introduce uh, the thing I'm going to introduce is the visualization tool for Tiger cluster, named Key Visualizer, also known as Keyways. Some of you Oh, some of some of you might be familiar with TaiKV. Uh, it's good at scaling up in seemingly this way, but in some cases, you will find it hard to work with, especially when performance is dropping for no reason. Well, there must be some reason, but it's much harder to find it than we expected. Maybe you know distributed system enough, and also know TaiKV enough, so you are coming with. Um, uh, there must be some hotspot in the cluster. Yes, most of the time, hotspot is the reason of the performance issue. But the problem is, we are still hard to tell whatever hotspot is in this case, and, and hard to tell where the hotspot is. But now, with Kiwis, they can be found out in real time and in easy and intuitive way. This is what key visualizer looks like. It's a simple tool, working browser. So I'm just going to move on to the demo part of the talk, and I'll show you what key visualizer can do and how it helps to find the hotspot in Tiger cluster. This is the workload of TPCH that I ran for about 12 hours. And we can zoom out to see. Here. Mm, let me introduce the details of this component. Um, on the left hand side, we can see three axes uh, with some labels. They are actually the database name, some table name, and uh, key key ranges, for example, some row rows or primary or some indexes, and we can find out later. Um, this is a heat map showing uh, how the workload distributed in the cluster. Um, from the bottom to the top, in uh, the vertical axis, it's the key ranges. When uh, a pixels goes from down from the bottom to the top, the key ranges goes up. 
Um, and from the left hand side to the right hand side, it's a time axis. It shows how data are changing, uh, not, not data, the workload changing in time. And the color represents the um, workload or the traffic uh, in this key range and in this time. For example, um, we can see uh, this is a um, bright line uh, in this range and it goes uh, from this point to this point. Uh, what it means is there may be some incremental write or incremental read, or it's a write, happens in this time. And at some point, we can click and zoom in to see, oh, there, there is 12, 12 bytes are written, 12, 12 million bytes per minute are written at this point, at this time. Uh, into test db, the uh, order line table, table order line, and, and these row ranges. If we want to copy the uh, key ID, we can click on it and it's easily pasted. Well, it's um, some kind of complex, but we will go through some, some important patterns later. At this corner, we uh, I have used um, sysbench workload, especially uh, OLTP insert. Uh, it stopped very early, about I ran it yesterday, but we we want to see it in detail, so we can zoom in. Just select and zoom, then click, released. Okay, all right, we're here quite easy. We can also address the brightness. In case, in case of uh, some points are too bright or too dark to see. Okay, I will go through some patterns. Um, this is a well distributed. From this image, we can tell that the color is mostly the same over the heat map. So that, so that means the workload is distributed evenly to every key ranges as known, also known as regions. This is a good pattern. Well distributed workload allows us to extract the maximum power from every type we know. This pattern is what we expected. This is sequential. It can be sequential read or sequential write. This often shows up when import, uh, we, are impo we import data into TIKV or incremental ID column is used. This is a, a signal of potential hotspot because the operation, because um, TIKV cluster is hard to split the operations into multiple regions. So uh, take care of it, especially when performance drops and this pattern happens to show up. Continuous. This pattern is similar to the sequential. Compared to sequential, it means that some keys of a small range is being updated repeatedly. repeatedly. This is also a signal of hotspot. Um, distributed continuous. Well, it means some keys are being updated repeatedly, but in uh, larger ranges. In this pattern, this pattern is better than the former, because in this case, Takeaway is smart enough to distribute the workload to all nodes of the cluster. I may say this is also a good pattern in most cases. And there can be more patterns to be discovered in real production by you. Um, Key Visualizer provides a better insight into TAKIV 
And then it's your turn to figure out the funny thing under the hood. So now I'm skim, I skim, and so now I skim through a little bit of the thing inside of Key Visualizer about how it's structured and how it works. Um, first, firstly, Key, Key Visualizer basically involved from the old PD statistics, which has been in production long before. But before Kiwis, PD collects the workload data in the time when statistic is requested, while Key Visualizer collects the workload data all the time since startup. So we can see how the workload is changing and see the pattern in time. Statistic data are firstly generated by Taikewi on Taikewi node sent the node status, the node status to PD by interval. Um, then PD collects the, the, the statistics report and then the data is used by key visualizer. Um, one thing important is to know one thing important to know is Key Visualizer is centralized, which means in one cluster, there, there must be one, mostly one Key Visualizer in instant in the cluster. And it's not failure protect, uh, protection on it. Okay, and this is how um, key visualizer is structured. Uh, uh, first, key visualizer is embedded in the PD binary. PD is also the server of the dashboard, which is basically the container of some new great tools, for example, key visualizer and statements. Um, key visualizer has two components, a backend written in Golang and a frontend in browser. The backend is the statistic data from PD, then generates the heat map we've seen. It also does some sort of compressing stuff and does optimization on the corner cases that come up when region splits or merges. The data are then sent to the frontend in the browser and as it is. Okay, conclusion. So I introduced the Kiwis and explain how we can use it to empower our debate workflow by pointing out the hotspot in the most obvious way, which we hope will bring new experience to the user. We are still working heavily on Kiwis, so it may seem to be slightly different to the final version. And some more and some more features may be added in the future. Mm. For example, uh, Kiwis could Kiwis could show how CPU and memory usage change changes in time. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, thanks, Dian, and. After this presentation, and this is all for today's meeting. And maybe uh, the last is the question. Any question about this? Do you have any question? Okay. Uh, oh, I also found some guy, uh, some new guy joined this meeting. Maybe we can let them to introduce uh, himself and the first first stop zero zero zero. Can you introduce yourself? He Tian. Zhu He Tian. Okay. Other uh, is Rats Tropy Gaming. Maybe I have pronounced it yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Subway. Okay, a la Daobin. Maybe. Daobin. Hello, everyone. 
and uh, I'm not uh, the only one. And I'm the tech maintainer, and uh, I'm working for the JD Cloud. And uh, do you have any other information? Okay. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Darby. And maybe okay. If you does anyone have any other question? If not, maybe. This is all for our today's meeting. Thank you very much. And see you next month. Wong Hao, maybe we can end this meeting now. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Thank you very much. See you next month. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.